Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video on Full Power Collectibles. Today we're going to be looking at an Aragorn the Uniter EDH deck. And like most of you, I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. In fact, Aragorn the Uniter is not my only EDH Lord of the Rings themed deck. In fact, I have nine. One of a number. One of nine. When Magic the Gathering, I should say, decided to do a crossover the Lord of the Rings, I went a little hog crazy and just built every deck. So here's all the commanders. I have the Tom Barbadil Saga deck. I have the Food deck with Frodo and Sam. I have a Legolas deck. I have a Galadriel deck. I have a Gandalf the White deck. I have a Fanghorn the Tree Shepherd deck. And I do also have a Frodo Sauron's Bane. And last but not least, I do have Sauron, the Dark Lord himself. So I have nine total Lord of the Rings themed EDH decks. But today we're taking a look at Aragorn, the Uniter. <laughs> Our commander, Aragorn the Uniter, is a four-color 5-5 five, five human noble legendary creature, and he has quite a multitude of effects. So, first off, whenever you cast a white spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Whenever you cast a blue spell, you scry two. Whenever you cast a red spell, Aragorn the Uniter deals three damage to a target opponent. And then whenever you cast a green spell, target creature gains plus four, plus four until end of turn. So this deck focuses on activating Aragorn's abilities by casting a multitude of multicolor creatures and spells. So let's take a look at the creatures of the deck. All right, if you haven't noticed already, I have quite a few of these proxy um, uh, Lord of the Rings uh, cards because I really enjoy this art style. It's a little more fitting to the movie. You know, it looks like the the movie characters. And yeah, so we have Legolas Greenleaf here. Pippin, the guard of the Citadel. Samwise, the stout-hearted. Frodo Baggins. Merry, the squire of Rohan. And Boromir, the Warden of the Tower. We also have Gimli of the Glittering Caves. And then we just have a random ancient gold dragon proxy, which just came with all those other ones, so I thought I'd throw it in here. Alright, Arwen is another creature we have. So we have an Arwen here. We have a Samwise Gamgee and his family there. We have Elrond, the Lord of Rivendell. Gloin, the Dwarf Emissary. We have another Arwen, the Mortal Queen. Alorth, the Healing of the Healing House. Faramir, the Prince of Athelion. And we have Galadriel, the Light of Valinor. All right, we have a few non-Lord of the Rings creatures in our deck as well. They are multicolored, which helps activate our commander when we cast them. First off, we have Minsk, the Beloved Ranger, Reflector Mage. Gaddick Teague, Burning Tree Emissary, Mentor of the Meek, uh, the Falja um, Wayfair, Shrieking Drake, Sagarda, another Sagarda, Squee the Immortal, the Coiling Oracle, Xeris of the Writhing Storm, Salvala, Explore Return, Prime Speaker Vanifar. Knight of New Alara. Serac, the Dragon Claw. We have a Mystic Snake. We have a Knight of Autumn. An Angel of Rebirth. OG, the Exquisite Blade. A Village Bellringer. Derevi, the Imperial Tactician. And we have a Suture Priest. All right, that concludes the creatures of the deck. Next, let's take a look at the artifacts. All right, starting off our artifacts, we have, of course, the One Ring, which is, like I said, I have this proxy with this this uh, really cool artwork. So we have the One Ring, 
We have an arcane signet, we have a soul ring, we have a skull clamp because our commander makes a lot of 1-1 creatures and I like to draw cards. And we have a commander sphere. Alright, enchantments. We have a few enchantments in this deck. Starting off with our Rhystic Study with Gandalf right there. That's an amazing art right there of Gandalf. I just love this Rhystic Study. And I don't know if you have guessed this or not, but this is a food chain deck. So we do have our food chain enchantment, which combos with our commander to kill everyone and win the game. I enjoy winning the game. Have a bear umbro. And we also have an impact trimmers. All right, next up, instants and sorceries. Dark fire, you. Flame of Udun. As far as sorceries go, we have a rampant growth. We have an austere command, in case we have to blow things up. Mini partings. Cultivate. We have a Sinks' Re uh, revelation, because I like to gain life and draw cards. Naya Charm, Gross Spiral, Boros Charm, Heroic Intervention, Wear and Tear, Secure the Waste, Worldly Tutor, Swords to Plowshares, and an Artifact Mutation. Finally, we have our Mana Base. We have quite a few lands in this deck because we are four different colors. So we have a Cinder Glade, we have an Island, Another island, a flooded grove, plains, evolving wilds, uh, copper line gorge, sky cloud expanse, temple of plenty, hinterland harbor, island, mystic monastery, canopy vista, temple of epiphany, the vine glimmer snarl, temple of enlightenment, mountain, port town, exotic orchard, sun petal grove, temple of triumph. Thornwood Falls, Forest, Command Tower, The Rootbound Crag, The Woodland Stream, Forest, Terramorphic Expanse, Rejuvenating Springs, Plains, The Fury Calm Snarl, The Prairie Stream, Another Forest, Another Plains, An Island, A Highland Forest, and A Fast Boil Snarl. So that concludes all of our deck. Next we'll take a look at our combos. Like I previously mentioned, Food Chain is our combo of choice in this deck. Food Chain is a three mana cost enchantment that says remove a creature card from the game add X mana of any color uh, into your mana pool where X is the removed creatures converted mana cost plus one this mana can only be spent to cast or play creature spells now how this combo works is you have squee the immortal here and squee the immortal has the ability that you may cast squee the immortal from the graveyard or from exile and with food chain whenever you remove a creature from the game, you will remove Squee from the game, and you remove him into exile, then you just will keep casting him again, because every time you remove him from the game, you will you will make four mana, and he only costs three mana to cast. So you cast him over and over again until you have infinite mana. While you're running this um, Squee in and out of the game, if you have Aragorn on the field, remember, Aragorn has the ability that whenever you cast a red spell, Aragorn will deal 3 damage to target opponents. So as long as Aragorn is on the field and Food Chain is on the field, you can cast Squee over and over again to kill all of your opponents with Aragorn's ability here. So that is the main combo of the deck, and uh, that's the way that uh, I try to win most of the time. All right, other honorable mentions in this deck is Aragorn and Shrieking Drake. Now, Shrieking Drake, Shrieking Drake is a one mana cost flying 1-1 one, one Drake. He has the ability, whenever the Shrieking Drake comes into play, return a creature you control to your owner's hand. So as long as Aragorn is on the field, you cast Shrieking Drake, and then 
Shrieking Drake's ability goes on the stack and you bounce Shrieking Drake back to your hand. Now why this is important is whenever you cast a blue spell with Aragorn, you will scry two cards. So as long as you have plenty of blue mana, you can, ca you can cast Shrieking Drake over and over again to scry through your deck to find your combo of Food Chain and Squee. So as long as you just have have some blue mana, you can just keep casting Shrieking Drake over and over again to scry through your deck to get to the cards you need to win the game. Another honorable mention in this deck is the Skull Clamp. Now the Skull Clamp is a one mana cost equipment and it has equipped creature gets plus one minus one. Whenever the equipped creature dies, you draw two cards and he has the equip cost of one mana. Now why this is important is our commander as you may or may not remember, has the ability that whenever you cast a white spell, you make a 1-1 human creature soldier token. And as long as you cast white spells, you can make a ton of tokens in this deck and then use the skull clamp to draw a ton of cards by um, pretty much sacrificing those creatures. So that is another good way in this deck to draw plenty and plenty of cards. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video of Aragorn the Uniter. Like I said, this is one of my favorite characters in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And as you may or may not know, I do like Gandalf and Legolas are probably my two other favorite characters in the series. So if you have any idea which of these other decks you would like to see first, uh, let me know. I do really enjoy my Gandalf the White deck. It is really really good and then Legolas is also a really fun deck that I don't get to play a lot but he has some pretty unique abilities so we have a few decks we can check out but I hope you enjoyed this video until next time adios